B'tzalel HaHaliyov, the interesting Tziruf, this joint union of representative from Sheva Yehuda, B'tzalel joining forces with representative from Sheva Don HaHaliyov. First thing, Lachara, we have to know is that who were the individuals in general, both and Klali, involved in putting together a Mishkan? Uh, the Pasuk clearly indicates that the Koveya, the deciding factor, the yardstick, was those who were described, labeled as Chachmei Lei. Famous shtikl, a beautiful piece by the Mirror Shashiva Rachaim Shalovitz Echatzadig Levracha. Uh, what Pshat asks Rachaim Shalovitz Chachmei Lei? Chachma is now rooted in the Lei, in the hearts. That's the seat of emotions. It's rooted Lachaira in the seat of the intellect, in the Seichel. It's something that's sickly, it's something that's Ruchni. So what Pshat Chachmei Lei? Explain the Mirosh Shifa. Who in the world could possibly have had the requisite chachma? How did anyone know how to build the Mishkan? It wasn't Shaykh. Nobody had the requisite knowledge. Hello, what? If you wanted it in your heart of hearts, if you had the chuka mitas, you had the shifa in the lake, to want to have the chachma because you want nothing more but to build a mishkan, to be marbek vot shamayim, to have that kiyam of asuli mitzvah shachati b'seichem, to bring that shosh shchina down to the world. If you had the chuka mitas in the lake, if you really wanted it in your heart of hearts, that ain't a chanami the Ebeshter gave you. He bestowed upon you that chachma. Say a chanami, it's not chachma, rosh, moach, or anything of the sort. It's rather the choice wording of. Chachma Yalev explained the Mirosh Shiva because the real Chachma in this particular instance was a Chachma that was rooted in the Lev. If you had in your heart of hearts the desire, a Tshuka from Umka de Libo to say I want to get close to HaKadosh Ruch and I want to be Marbis covered in the world, if you had the Tshuka in the Lev, then the Abish to reciprocate it accordingly by bestowing upon you the Chachma. Hence that terminology of Chachma Yalev. Mela. If we're going to talk about Patsalel and Ali have chosen, selected from amongst that choice group, and must be Lachaira, that they had the greatest chuka of them all. They had a gavaldi good chuka. They had a tremendous desire, a yearning, a longing to want to be Marvako Chamayim. Now we know Batsalo was Mashum Yuchan, even though he was only a mere 13 years of age. Gemara tells us in the end of Brochus, Dafan and Hayam and Aleph at the bottom explains the Gemara. And now why was he called Batsalo? Moshe Menu saw this individual. Yodeya Hayyam Batsalo, Latsari, Penis, Osio, Shabahan, Nibru, Shamayim, and Arts. He knew how to configure the various Osios of the Aleph. Is talking about Rice of our Alma writes in Zorah Kodesh in the Medrash in the beginning of Rashi's Rabba. Abishter looked into the Osios of the Torah through that he created the world. Safi at Sira, Miyuchas to Avram Avinu, is all Mavusas and Miyusa predicated on the various Sirufe Osios that you can create a golem, you can create other things in this world. But Salo knew how to be Mitzari, Ben Osios, Shabbat Nimru, Shemai Menorets, Brochus and Hayam and Aleph, Moshe Abinu, when he so astounded by that Chokma of Bitzalel, he responds, Shema Bitzel Kel Hayisa. Maybe you were in the shadow of a Kodesh Baruch Hu. That's the Tzal Kel. But perhaps we can add with the Rabbeinu Tam and the Sefer Yashar. Four-way Machlekes, who wrote the Sefer Yashar. In general, it's typically attributed to Rabbeinu Tam. Rabbeinu Tam and Sefer Yashar and Shari Yidal of rights that they should create many nefroim. Many things in this world. The Lamay Lamikulam. Nefesh, Mada, and Seichel, he writes. And Lamaila Mikulam, the highest of the high. The Hainu, the Nivra, that's Lamaila from every single other act of creative entities that exist in this world, is what the Sefer Yosha writes. It's called Chefetz, that's Koach Harotzen. The Hainu, that which is Mamish in proximity to the Shechina, is what is Chefetz, is Koach Harotzen. Ravobi even writes parenthetically in Alishor Chelek Sheni. Why do we call it Rotzen? Rotzen is Lashen Rotz. In which direction do you run? You always run in the direction of your rotsen, and it's dafka through the rotsen, osios tsinor, that creates that pipeline that allows you to be meschabra, mezdabek to the boreola. What is ma'afsher? What engenders that connection to a Kodesh Baruch Hu. Al Yedei Yerotz and Osios Tzinor, you now create the pipeline, you've attached yourself in Mechamra to a Kodesh Baruch Hu. You run in the direction of Yerotz and of your Chaifa, it's Al Pi Rabbeinu Tam, that's the highest Lamayla from all the Nevroim, that's Mamash Petzel Kel Mamayla. So yet we have another perspective on what Shem of Itzel Kel Ha'isa you must be so close to HaKadosh Baruch Befrat, piggybacking on Rechaim Shalom, it's his famous piece, and Sichas Musar, that the defining trait of all those who participated in the Binyan Habayis, in this case the Binyan Asiyas HaMishkan, was that you were a Chochem Leiv, then by definition, the one who's going to be at the forefront, who's going to be at the helm of all the Chochem Leiv, the one who had the greatest Chuka in his Leiv for that Chochmah, and who is that? It's Davka Betzalon, that's the Koch of the 
Rotsen, and he's the one to go ahead and be at the forefront. Indeed, the Dasa Kena Maliatesis writes, Parshas Vayakil. Uh, the Dasa Kenim is bothered. Why the need to delineate that lineage, all the ancestry, but Salel, Ben Uri, Ben Chur, Lamate, Yehuda? Why do we have to go back that far? Explains the Dasa Kenim in Bali You know why Betzalel was chosen to lead uh, the Asiyas and Benias Amishkan? Because his grandfather was Chur. His Zaydi was Chur. was killed by Shas Chetega. We just had a Parshish Kisisa. And Chur stood up and he made a Macha, a Macha Gemura, and he was killed. And what happens comes along the Enochon Albert Salo Ben Uri Ben Chur. And that's why the need to delineate all the lineage, all the ancestry to tell us, explains the Bali Atesis, that his grandfather is Haile Gazedi Chur, is killed the Shas, the Cheta Egel. Along comes now the Enochon to be Machapur to expiate for that sin of the Golden Cap. As of Henoch Leibowitz, the Chavitz Chaim Rosh Hashiva, and his wonderful Musa Sefer Chudush Yalev, he's the last person on earth that the Chaim is going to have the Chuka to do it. You kill my Zaydi, and now I should build the Mishkot to be Machaper for your act of killing my Zaydi from the Chet Egel. Pliyat Zuma, Elabal Korko Tzar Chlaimer, what do we see? How that look at the Dargah of Bitzalo, that even though in a Chanabi they killed his grandfather, Bitzalo ben Uri ben Chor, and still he surmounted that obstacle, and he still had a Chuka to build the Mishkot to be Machaper. For Klein, so for the Chet Egel, even though they killed his very own Zaydi, Bishas Maisa, and Afilu Hochi, that's Pitzalo, that's the greatest chuk of them all. And the Chara, what would the Hesper be? Uh, the Maral explains, and Chedushi Agados, and Sanhedrin, Afka Beis, and Beis, and Chelek, and the beginning of Netzach Yisrael as well, writes the Maral, there are two Dargis of Ratz. Persa could say that I have a desire, the Mashal, to do an Avera. Uh, but if Amister sends me a simon, something comes down in a Shemai and blocks my path, I thank the Rebona Shalom. In fact, the Maral is talking about the Miser with Menashe and Ravashi. Ravashi is bothered. Uh, where do you cut the pass? When you're both say up from the pass of Lech Mishnah, Meichen boats in a pass. He doesn't know the terrors. Comes along Menashe, the nefarious king who was over to Vodazara, and he appears to him in a dream and he says, Meichen to come upon now where it's crossed it. Again, one has to know it's not for now. What exactly is the Shakla Vatari? What was the grace of Chachma? And why didn't Ravashi know? What did Menashe come and tell him? But I'll come upon him. Ravashi responds and says, I would agree to Chokha Menashe. How could it be uh, you were over to what is Menashe says, You're making fun of me, you're disparaging me. Lu Yitzur, theoretically, had you been alive in my day and age, you would have picked up the hem, the skirt of your pants to run to do a Vodazara. Frank the Maral, what's the dialogue here? Explains the Maral. Menashe says, Ain't a had a desire to be over to what is But had Hashem sent me a rock coming down, blocking my path, I would have said, Yes, of course, well, thank you. I got the sim and I received the message, and now I'm going to stop, I'm going to refrain from being over to what is Zorah, but you, Ravashi, your desire, your yearning would have been so strong that what? You would have seen the rock in your bed, you would have picked up the skirt of pants to say, there's no way I'm tripping over this. That would have been the madrega of your desire. Mamelo, lead the key. So on the other side of the coin, person can get up in the morning and say, I want to do a Maisa Mitzvah this morning. And what happens? He gets into his car and his car doesn't start. Fine, he borrows his wife's car. Then he gets into a traffic jam on the Van Wick, which many call the Van Wicked. And he gets onto the Van Wicked and he's stuck in a traffic jam. And he still says, I'm going to do the Maisa Vera. And then a tire, he gets a flat tire. Triple A doesn't come. He hails a taxi, leaving his wife's car on the road. Gets a taxi and the taxi gets stuck on the bridge. No problem. He gets a police escort. Mom is He's money for it. If a person has a chuka to do a Maisa Veira, some people say, oh, I got the flat tire. Oh, my car didn't start. Thank you, Al-Kodesh Bruch. I got the simum and a shamayim that I shouldn't do it. And I'm a cowbell. But then you have a person who has such a chuka on me to such an insatiable desire and unquenchable thirst. He's got to get this Maisa Veira done. No matter how many obstacles placed in his path, he's going to surmount one after the next to say, no matter what, I'm going to do it. So, too, you can have on the Tzad HaTov, a person, the Gemara tells us, and brokers da vavu menalaf lechosh veishmo. What target are we talking about? A person says, oh, I want to do a Maisa Mitzvah this morning. A person says, oh, they were up learning and kumzits until 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. They're going to get up from the chakras in the morning. Oh, yeah, they want to get up. Oh, next thing you know, they oversleep. This, how badly did they want to? When you have to overcome the obstacles and still you manage to get up, that shows who has the emistic Aratzim. When you're willing to go ahead and overcome 
and surmount obstacle after obstacle. That's Megala that discloses to one and all who has the most Meyuchadika Madrega of Ratzon. Mamela, according to the Dasa Kenimale Tesis, it comes up very Gishmak. Dainu, who had the biggest obstacle in his path? But Salo Benuri Ben Chur, you killed his Zaini Bashas the Chetego, and now you're asking him to build a Mishkan, to be Machaper for Klai so that killed his very own grandfather, Bashas the Chetego, and I, I should Bedavka expiate for that egregious sin? And I feel Hoki Betzalo says, I'm a peeking, and he wrote Salasas. He's the one at the head of the forefront of all the Chochmei Leiv. The Haino, again, if the Kavei of the yardstick, the gauge is, who has the Chochma? The ones who have the greatest chuka in their life to want to have the chokma. Yo, chokma sula chakimim, but how do you get that original chokma? If you want it, the ones who want it the most, we know, ain't over mefane ratzon, even though very often when miyach is a chazal. I was waiting for Yaakov Solomon last night to say what a chazal is. The answer is, we don't have such a chazal. It doesn't appear anywhere in chazal. We do have a similar lotion in the Zohar Kodesh, beginning of Parsha's Tumah, Chayla Beis, Dafrei Samach Beis, Amad Beis, right at the top. Hakol Tzulu Yen Bera Avona, it's all totally in ratzon. But that terminology, but don't worry, we have many things that were miyachas to chazal that are actually not chazals. There's a chuba nabnei chefetz, there's an entire arichus and Rashmul Ashkenazi's alpha basic kanmisha de shmul zira that all those things were miyachas to chazals that are not actually chazals. How about dvorim ayotzim and aleiv? Nechnosim al aleiv. Rabbeinu Tam brings in St. Fran Yashar, Ibn Ezra already has piyutim, but in the end of the day, it's not an actual chazal. So again, we walk away uh, that those who were involved in the Beniyah Samishkan were all people who had a gewaldic desire to have the Chochmah to be endowed with the requisite wisdom to want to know how to build the Mishkan V'Kelov. The leader of them all would be B'Tzalo Benori Ben Chor. You killed his grandfather. And still he wants to be machaper for the same individuals who killed his grandfather to surmount such an obstacle. And still have a gavaldiga yearning, a tremendous craving to build a mishkan. Still to want to be machaper for Klai Yisrael. That's the Gilei Mil that he had the greatest chuk of them all. He is going to be at the forefront of that's Batsala. But the question we have to ask is, what do you need Aliyah for? What do you need someone from Sheva Dot? See, yes, we know Chazal tell us, the Rosh Lishvot and the Pocha Sheva Shvot, and we have Yehud who is at the Rosh, we have Don who's at the back, but it needs a Hesper. We need a profound understanding, and that's what we have to explore with Seattle to the Why the Tzirif, why this joint union, the merge of Yehuda and Don, why was that a prerequisite when it comes to building a Mishkan? Why did you need Betzalo Mitzan Echad? We understand. That's Shemba Betzel Kel Ha'isa. That's Yodei Ha'ya Betzalo, Letzarif Behen Eselsio, Shebehen Nivru Shemayim and Oretz, Brachos and Hayim and Aleph. But why in the world did he need Aliyah? Why someone from Sheva Don? Those two continuously at the forefront every stage of the Benias and Asiyah Samish. Let's go back perhaps at the Parshas Vayigash, where we really have the first uh, union of someone from Shevet Yehuda, Yehuda himself, uh, with a prominent member, the lone member of what Sheva Don was at that time. Uh, let's go back to Parshas Vayigash. We were left off at the end of Parshas Miketz with a cliffhanger. Heights, those things do happen. We're in the middle of a dialogue, a fascinating discussion, a vehement debate between Yosef on the one hand, the viceroy over Egypt, number two in command, with Yehuda. We're in the middle of, we're engaged in this Kishmaka dialogue. And what happens? Abister says, Stop right here in the middle of the conversation. Stay tuned. And next week, same bad time, same bad channel, Lahabdil. And then we're going to have to come back to it. Put it on hold for now. We're Mama Shlov to the cliffhanger. And then we have to wait until next week. Who doesn't want to take a peek? We're ready to turn the page. What's going to happen? We turn the page a week later. Vayigash Elov Yehuda. What happens? Yehuda steps up as a melech and says, Yosef, I am ready to challenge you. The viceroy over Egypt. I'm ready not just to challenge you, but I'm ready to topple you and all of Mitzrayim. Take a look at the fascinating Medrash Rabbah. It's a bracious Rabbah and a parashat sadi gimel and os zayin. And writes the Medrash that the lion roared. And the lion roared. Remember the Grand Mishle says, Arya Yishog. When the lion, the king in the jungle roars, that's it. Everybody's frozen. Everyone's seized by fear and trepidation. Every animal is frozen in its place. Yehuda, Yehuda, Gur Arya, Yehuda. He roars, and who hears? 
Zok de Medrash Rabba, 93.7, Chushim Ben Don. Chushim Ben Don, remember the lone individual on Chumash, who is deaf, he mamish can't hear, and yet state in the Medrash that he heard that roar of the lion, because who's the tail of the lion? We find two people in Chumash who are like him, metaphorically linked with the lion. Remember, Ari is Gamatria 2.16, Gamatria Givura, the lion possesses the Quality, that attribute of Gevura. Yisgamer Kaori. What's Yisgamer Kaori? Gevura. Gevura is Gematria 216. Gematria Arye. Gematria Yira. When the Arye roars its roar, what happens? Arye Yishog. Everyone is seized, is frozen with Yira because you're witnessing the Gevura of the Ari. Din is always associated with the Gevura. Who's Din? Sheva Don. Sheva Don, OCO's Din. He now hears the roar. Chushim and Don. He hears the roar even though he's deaf and writes the Medrash. He comes down quickly. How did he come down? Machlok Yisman is Kahuna and other Pirush and Mar, Perush Marzu. Was it because he was incredibly fast, incredibly quick? Or the Shema Sakadoshim, Shema Vashem, Vakritsa Sadach was invoked. Either way, Chushim and Don, Yehuda, Gor Arye, and Gor Arye Yehuda, Parshas Vayichi, the Brochus of Yaakov to Bnei Yisrael, Parshas of Sabrocha, the Brochus of Moshe to Bnei Yisrael. One place we find Yehuda is linked with the lion, the other place Don is linked with the lion. Answer, of course, is together they comprise that lion. Yehuda is the head of the lion, is the Arisha, the Chabura is the Rosh. He travels at the forefront of Klai Yisrael, Sheva Don is at the back, they represent the tail of the lion. And the two together they roar and they're ready to topple all of its rhyme. It's Yehuda with Hushim Ben Don alongside him, and they're ready to take over and state in Medrash. That's when Yosef knew he had to back down, he was compelled to back down because now he saw the two lions the head of the lion, the tail of the lion. I have Yehuda on one hand, and I have Hushim Ben Don on the other hand. Together, they're going to join forces, they're going to topple all of its rhyme. These two people were ready to go ahead and vanquish the entire land of its rhyme, the mightiest military power in the face of the earth at the time. And what happens? Yosef backs down. And then finally, on Yosef, that monumental point of transition, when Yosef finally discloses his true identity. What's going on here? Yehuda needs Hushim. Uh, didn't Yosef separate Shimon from Levi because he already knew what took place by the Maishas Shechem and Pashas Vayishlach? That Shimon and Levi together, Klei Hamas Mecharon Sehem, oh, when you got them together, forget it. They can topple an entire city of Shechem. And yet Yehuda doesn't look for Shimon, he doesn't look for Levi, he doesn't look for anyone. Who is he searching for? It's got to be Chushim. Who's the tail of the lion? Who is here to be Mashlim Bechinus Yehuda? It's Davka Chushim. Why? That's the question we have to ask that beckons our scrutiny. Why is it that Yehuda Bedavka needs Chushim Ben Don? Why not go to Shimon? Why not go to Levi? I understand Yisachar is the Masman, he's sitting and learning. But we know that many in the Shvatim possess tremendous Gavura. Davka Don, Davka Chushim Ben Don. Oh, what's going on here? So perhaps the idea is as follows. Let's understand a little bit about Chushim Ben Don. Interesting, as we pointed out, the only individual in the pages of Chumash who is deaf is Chushim. You ever take a look at his name? Uvnei Don Chushim Pashas Vayigash. Chushim is spelled Chaser Vav. Ches Shin Yud Mem. And now spell the word backwards and what do you get? Misach. Who is speaking? Who's doing the talking? Isn't that a question that a deaf person always has to ask? That's Chushim. Chushim Chaser Vav. Osios Misach. Backwards. Who's speaking? Who's doing the talking? Because he's deaf. Not only that, Chushim. What does the word even imply? It certainly connotes the Chamisha Chushim. We have five senses, five letters comprising the name Chushim. But as we said, it's Chaser Vav. That means what? He's missing one of the five. He is Taka missing one of the five. He's missing the Chushim Shmiah. The ability is sound. Lafiyani is daiti. Hence, we drop the Vav. He only has four out of five of the Osios of his name. He only has four or five of the Chushim. Al Kopanim. Chushim is deaf, and what happens? Who kills Esav? Famous Gemara and Sota Dafiud Gimla Madalaf. Who killed Esav? What happens? The Shvat and the Shift they come. They come to inter the holy body of Yaakov and Maras And what happens? Esav stands there at the entrance, disallowing the Knisa of the 
Kodesh Tikal body of Yaakov to be interred in his rightful place in Marsmach Pelo. And there's a commotion that ensues. Asa says, Who says that it's your place? And Aftoli Ayola Shlucha runs back to Matrayim to procure the deed. And while he runs back, Hushim was deaf as Rachaim Shulovitz and a separate piece of Tzichas Musa says, Who's the only one to take action? Everyone else is engaging Asa in dialogue. Hushim was deaf just sees the Maisev Ofen Amiti. He sees what's taking place. Asa is standing at the entrance and he wants to block my Hela Gazeti from having his chosh of a body go into Marsach Pela. That's it, off with the head, and he reaches for a club and he bangs Asa in the back and the eyes pop out. That's where that reason the Rami Pato Gagul and Shema Shimshin was from Shiva Don. Shimshin had to have his eyes pop out because Chushim caused Asa's eyes to pop out. That was part of the Tikan Alts Gilgul, but that's a whole nother shear. In the end of the day, though, Chushim is the one who brought Asa down. Chushim is the one who killed an Asa. That's Chushim and Don. Who did away with Asa Varosha? Chushim. Now, this itself is fascinating. Because don't we know the Gemara of Abbasu, Kufchav Gimel Amad Beis? It's also a, a Medrash Yalkut Shimoni and Shoftim. It's a Medrash Tanchuma. And Parshas Kesetze, it's a Medrash and Bracious Rabbah. Parsha Ayin Hey and Os Hey. We know that Enes of Nofel Ella Biyad Banel Shorochel. Who's going to bring about the downfall, the demise of Esav? Biyad Banel Shorochel. Now, the is Yosef and Minyamin. When Yosef is born in Parshas Vayetze, no lot sit no shall Esav. All right, it's the Gemara of Abbasu, Kufchav Gimel. It's the Koch of Yosef. So, what's going on now? Hushim is the one to kill him. Lafini is daiti. It's very gishmak. Hold on to your seats and let's follow this closely. Enis of Nofel Ela Biyad Banel Shorochel. Salamaisa, the Nusach that we have, it's not limiting to Yosef, and that's why the Maral writes in Perak Beis and Posik Zayin of his Or Chodesh and Megillah Sester that when you don't have Yosef available, who's going to bring about the downfall of Esav? Who killed Amalek, Haman, Mishas, the Purim story? It's going to be Mordechai Ish Yamini from Sheva Binyamin together with Esther from Sheva Binyamin. If there's no one from Yosef, then you're going to reach with someone from Binyamin. Before you start the Malchus, we'll have Shola Melech, even though as Ramosha David Vali, Tamar Chavadar Ramchal writes, in his Perush of Megillus Rus, Shola Melech's name was perfect. It was so apropos. Why? Because his Malchus was merely Shaul. It was merely borrowed Malchus. Malchus, the Davidic dynasty, owned Ata Yaducha Chicha. Apostle in Vayachi, he owned Malchus. Shola Melech merely borrowed it, hence the name Shaul. But he's from Ot Sheva Binyamin. If there's no one from Yosef, then there's got to be someone from Binyamin. That's why he was going to step up to the plate. It's going to be a Mordechai Yishemini. It's going to be an Esther. It's going to be someone from Shevet Yosef is someone from Shevet Yom. But Lamaisa, who killed Esav? Chushim and Don. What's going on here? The Phineas Daiti. The Pnimi is the Kekoach of Esav, of Haman, of Amalek in the world, is always going to be destroyed by what? By the Koach HaPnimi of Rochel Imenu Ayadeh Herbanim. HaPnimi, her pure biological offspring of Yosef Mitzan Echad and Ben Yom Mitzan that's Kenegan, the Koach HaPnimi of the riches of the wickedness that Esav and Amalek personifies and brings into this world. But who's going to address the Chela Kachit Soni of Esav Arash or Lechaira? Lafini has died. It's going to be the Bonam Achit Sonim, the outer children born to Rochel Imeinu, who will bring about the downfall of the outer body of an Esav Arash. Who killed Esav? Chushim Ben Don. Who were the Bonim Chitzanian born to Rachel through her maidservant Bilha? Those were what? Don and Aftoli. Kishmak. Who represented all of Sheva Don? Uvnei Don Chushim. He is it. He is all of Sheva Don. We know they became one of the largest Shvatim all through Chushim. That's the Gemara of Masra. That's Chushim. He multiplied like the various sprouts, but in the end of the day, Chushim is done. And who went back to procure the deed, highlighting that it's not Asa's body that deserves Kenes and Tamar Sachpeila, but who secured that it's not the body of an Asa that's going to be allowed entry to Tamar Sachpeila? Dafka Naftoli. Don and Naftoli were what? Were the Bonim Chitzainim born to Rachel Ayadeh, her maidservant Bila? Now it's very Geshmak, the choice terminology of Chazal was. Ain Asaf no fell out of the Yad Banel Shorachal, the Hainu, the Phineas Daiti, the Bonim Pnimiim of Yosef and Minyaman would address the Koach Pnimis, the Karishis of an Asa. Marosha, and who would tackle the Chitzonius, the Kechelek of an Esav? That'll be Dafka the Bonim Chitzonium. But it gets more Gishmak because Esav did what? He had his Soroshal Esav, the Koch of the Sam, before Yaakovina, the all night wrestling match of Parshas by Yishla. And Yaakovina, of course, emerged the victor. But the Soroshal Esav got him in one place and one place only. And the Maral and Reunas and Aishat, and so many others, has spilled a lot of ink explaining. 
why did he aim Badafka for the leg? Akopon and the Amshat remained uh, that even though we emerged the victor over Soroshal Esav, he got us in one place and one place only. And what was that? Aveyiga Bakaf Yerecho. He got us in our leg. Then isn't it Kishmak that who's going to bring about the downfall? Dafka, the two people who were known to possess tremendous koch in their leg. Naftoli, who preceded the superhero Flash, who was the one, the Havdil, who had miraculous speed. You know, some of says, Mamish Lemaylam and Ateva. Miraculous speed, Naftoli, Ayola Shlucha, likened to the fast, to the fleet. Hind, that was Naftoli, who runs back for the deed, making sure that it's not Asa's body that gets buried of a It's Naftoli, the body of Yaakov. And who's the one who kills Yaakov, who kills Asa? Chushim, why was he called Chushim? Writes the manuscript, who goes chish v'nufa, quick, fast. That's Chushim. Now to Chushim in Parshas Matos. Swiftly, a speed is what is the power in the Raglayim. Who's going to bring about the downfall of Asa? Asa, you think you got us in our Raglayim? It's Davka, the reciprocity is Geshmak. Who's the one Mina Kenegan Mina to bring about the downfall of Chitonius to Kechelik of Esav to destroy his body, number one, and to disallow his body from being interred in Marosim Achpeila by Kivrei Avos, number two. It's the combination, those joint forces, the dynamic duo of a Chushim ben Don Mitzan Echad joining forces with Naftali, Don Naftali, the Bon of Chitzani, and born to Rochel Ayadeya Shivcha Bilha. They will address, they will tackle the Chelek Achitzani of an Esav. They're going to bring about the downfall. That's Chushim, and that's Naftali. That's Don Naftali uniting forces, and they destroy an Esav of Russia. But it's not the end of the story. Because it doesn't say on the pages of Sotadaf Yud Gimel Manalov. And that Esau died. It says his eyes popped out and he knocked him down. But it doesn't say that clearly Chushim killed him. Right, Tysus? And the Meseches get enough. Nun heyam and beis di ramaska b'yehuda. I writes the Bali Atesis, we have a Safri and we have a Yushami Masech Ksuvis and Perk Aleph Alokha Hey. And state in the Safri, state in the Yushami and Ksuvis, that Yehuda is the one who killed Asaph. Ask Taisus, what do you mean Yehuda killed Asaph? We have a Gamano Fresh, so the Yemam and Aleph. It was Khushim and Don who killed Asaph. Ella must be Zaktaisis. The Maskon of the Mills to the conclusion is a Yehushim smacked him on his head, knocked out the eyes, and he was on the way down. But who gave the mark of a who really finished the job? The one to finish the job was none other than Yehuda. Comes out from Taisus, get enough from Haman base, and that's what appears also. Prakir Loza and Prakir Lamates also discusses the Misa of Arigas Esav, as does the men of Shukhotom and Tehillim. And the end of the day, it was joint forces of Chushim ben Don with Yehuda. Who killed Esav? Chushim ben Don, the representative of Sheva Don, together with Yehuda. They killed Esav. Who was ready to top him at Shayim? Yosef at Tzadigim Vayigash, the Medrash and Breshis Rabbah. In at Tzadigim Olos Zion, it was Davke Yehuda and Don. It was the head of the lion and the tail of the lion. Oh, here also, who's going to destroy it? Esav. It's the lion, it's the Yisgabra Ka'ari, it's the Gevura of the head of the lion, Sheva Yehuda, together with Don, with Chushim and Don, the tail of the lion. And isn't it Kishmak? Because what is Yehuda? So especially after the Maisa, so it can be many, different Milas and Shevet Yehuda, they get the Shem Hashem encoded, encrypted into their name. Yehuda is Shem Avaya, Yud Kei Vav Kei. Shevet Don is what is Loshen Din, Danani Elokim. Uh, what is that? It's Geshmak. Who's the head of the lion? That's Yudke Vovke Yehuda, who has the meat of Rachamim. But it's not complete until you're mashlimit with what the tail of the lion done, which is din. Together they represent that sirup, that gorgeous synthesis of Mida Sarachim with Mida Sadin. The whole package is here together. It's all the package of Yehuda at the front and Don at the back. How did the Yidin travel in the Midbar? Yehuda, Yehuda, Gorari, Gorari, Yehuda, and Don Gorari, the head of the lion, the tail of the lion, Mida Sarachim. In the front, Mina Sedin in the back, everything else contained in the middle. The other one sandwiching in together. The two of them were ready to topple Yosef, ready to topple all the Mitzrayim. The two of them together, Apitaisis, Egitin, and Haman Bey, has wrought the downfall of Asa Varosha. It's that Siraf. And now we get to this record, the backdrop of the Parshios of Benia, Sasias, and Mishkan, of Truma, Tetzave, Vayaka, Pokude. And who is at the front? How not surprised we are to see that it's going to be Dafka, uh, the leader from Shevet Yehuda, Mida Sarachim, it's going to be Mitzalah, Mitzal Echad, combining forces with Aliyah from Shevet Don, Mitzal Cheney. They're the ones who are building the Mishkan. What's Pshat? Clearly, we need them to unite forces. 
But what was this union really all about in a more profound than a Nakudos Ha'amkos? What was it really all about? So I believe the Phineas Daiti, the Mahalach is as follows, perhaps. Writes the Shla Kodesh in Tosh of Asav Tzon Yosef, Parshish Vayigash. The Shla says we need Malchus Yosef and Malchus Yehuda. We need Mashiach ben Yosef, followed by Mashiach ben Dov. Why do we need two? Now, the Arizal does write that if we're Zaycha, we don't need to traverse this stage uh, the precursor of Mashiach ben Yosef. We could go right to Mashiach ben Dov. But the regular Mahalach Api Chazal is we start with Mashiach ben Yosef and then we journey on to Mashiach ben Dov. Why? Why do we need Mashiach ben Yosef? What is his job? Writes the Shalom Kaddish. The Melech is the one who sits at his rightful place on the throne and presides over all of Klai So, But first you need to have what? An Am that's together. It's the Melech, and Pashas told us, is described as what? As the Achad Am. Why? Explains Rashi. He's Ma'achid the Am. You need someone to bring Klai So together. Melech can only be a Melech when what? Read the word Melech backwards. And what do you get? Kulam. A Melech can only be a Melech when first you have Kulam. You need everybody together. Writes the morale, and as Der Chaim and Perke Elvis, we always needed a Nasi and an Avbeistin. The Avbeistin would bring people together, then the Nasi would be Bebechina Samelech. Where does that come from? Moshe and Aaron. Why do you need Moshe and Aaron? What do we know about Aaron and Kaye? Mishnah and Perke Elvis, Perke Elvis, Mishnah and Yabes, Hillel Omer, Heavy Mitamid of Shal Aaron, Oh, Yisholem wrote, Yisholem wrote, Sabriyas and Makarv on the Tyra. You gotta love everybody, bring everyone together. He's the one who was Marvish Sholem, Initial Ishto, Initial Rieo. Pasha Schukas, the only yard site anywhere in the pages of Chumash is what? The yard Side of Rosh Chodesh Av of Aaron Akain because that's the individual who bought Klai Yisrael together. He is the one who was Maasif Klai Yisrael only once Aaron to bought the, the ranks of the Jewish people as one. He bought them into one cohesive entity. Only then was Moshe Rabbeinu able to preside over the Jewish people. You need Mashiach and Yosef, and then you have David, and then you have Mashiach and David. You need Aaron, and then you have Moshe. It's very Gishmak, David. David's Mahalach was what? He has two sons, two primary sons from his 18 wives. He has a number of sons, but we know the most famous and infamous, perhaps. We have Shlomo Melch Mitzanech, the successor, the heir to the throne. And then we have Avsholom. What type of name is Avsholom? You ever wonder? Avsholom? What type of name is this Avsholom? He's the opposite. He's antithetical to peace. Terence is Lafinius Daiti. Why did he name his son Avsholom? Who was the Av of Sholom? Aaron Akoin was the Oiv Sholom and the Rodi Sholom. David Melch says the Shlok we know with the halach, it's got to be first be ma'asif the ab, and then you have the melech ruling over them. So first I need Avshalom, and we see the power of uniting the forces that Avshalom possess. Let's have Avshalom. He'll bring Klaius all together, and then Shlomo will go in and preside over the top. How interesting. That reason, right? Say for Gilgul and Parasam Ozayim. Shlomo Osios Limosha. Who's the Gilgul of Moshe Rabbeinu? Shlomo. Shlomo Osios Limosha. That's why Moshe was raised by Basi Basparo. And now Shlomo has to marry Basi Basparo. Shlomo builds the Mishkan, the Bayez Mani. Shlomo says, I have to build the base of Mikdash, the Bayez, that's Kavua. Shlomo says, I have to take over what Moshe Rabbeinu stopped. I'm Lemoshe. How Geshmak? Shlomo, Lemoshe. Av Sholom is taking over the place of Aaron Akoin. David Melech had a Gaval de Gecheshman. I'll have Av Sholom bring Kaiso together with Bechinas Aaron Akoin, the Av of Sholom. And then Shlomo Osios Hasholim, Shlomo Osios Lemoshe, will be the Melech over everybody else. But Shlomo said, well, no, I need B'Shalom. I'm already B'Shalom, even though Baruch HaSem HaTalem Nalf, you tell Leich Lishalom. He says, I'm already B'Shalom, already done. I'm a done deal. I don't need Shalom HaMelech by my side. And we know the rest of that story. But Lachara, that's the pattern. The Shlach Kodesh says you can't have Sheikh Ben David until first you have Klai Yisrael together. When there's an Achtis Gemura, Rot Al Yadei Mashiach Ben Yosef. Why is he Yosef? Yosef Hashem Li Ben Acher. Osef Eschar Posi. The Rashbam says it's a mixture. But as Rav Gedal Yeshur and others, he writes in Or Gedayo, clearly Yosef connotes one Loshan Asifa. He is Kenegan, right? This Pharma Kenoshim or Gedayo and others, he's Kenegan Tfilos Musa. He brings us together, Koach Asifa. That is the Iker Nakud of Yosef. Who's the one who brought the Shvatim together in Parshas Vayigash? Loshan Hagosha approaching, coming together. The one to bring Klai Yisrael together was none other than Yosef. His very name connoting the sense of Koach Hasifa. He's Machi the Am, and that's why he bows before Yehuda because he knows that Machas belongs to Yehuda. Vayigash I love Yehuda. Why were we left with a cliffhanger? Because a different Yehuda emerged on the world stage at the outset of Parshas Vayigash. Once Yehuda the Melech was ready to show that he's Bebechinas Malchus. And he's ready to be Moser as Nafsho to save Benjamin. Once we see he's acting like a Melech ought to act, that's what? 
told Yosef HaTzadik that it's time to back down. Yehuda is Yehuda below owns Malchus. I'm the one to bring Klai Yisrael together. The Sheikh ben Yosef is done and now we're ready for the Sheikh ben Dovin. That's why you need the two. Now what happens if you don't have someone from Shevet Yosef? Then you have to go to Binyamin. Then you need a Mordechai and an Esther to do what? In this story in Yoni Dioma. What's the constant? Hadgosha Lech Kenos Es Kola Yehudim. Who's the call to get everyone together? You can't start heading back to Shlaim and rebuilding a Bayashani until what? Until you have the Achdus Av. So you need Lech Kenos Es Kola Yehudim. Rosam Yachat Techeles Mordechai. V'Shalach Monas Ish L'Rayehu. You need that Achdus of what a Purim is all about. The Lech Kenos Es Kola Yehudim. Shabbos Pechesa Menalev. Amarov Ava Pekin Hondo Kiblu Mech Hashir Shinemar Kimu V'Kibla Yehudim. Writes the Maral in Orchodesh Kimu V'Kiblu. Kiblu is spelled Lo Shen Yochad. Why the singular conjugation? Because they were Makabalit, like Layichan Shamiso and Nagan Arkish Echab Levechad. And Pasha Sisu at the beginning of Perk Yotes, they were Hodder Kiblu, they reenacted, re experienced Matan Taira, which encompassed therein the re experiencing of that Achdus Gemurah of Kishachab Belevechad. Hence, the Kiblu, it's not the Kiblu written in Loshan. Full with the Vav, Alosh and Rabbim, it's written, Vikibel. They accepted it as an Amechad, that's Lech Kenosis, Kola Yudim, or Samyachat, Techelis Mordechai, when they had Mordechai and Esther from Sheva bin Yom and Bidafko, and they bring Klai Yisrael together, the Givaldi. Now, what happens if you don't have someone from Yosef, and you don't have someone from Sheva bin Yom, you don't have a Yosef, you don't have a Mordechai, you don't have a Shoal, you don't have a Bin Yom, and where do you go? Who else is associated with the Losh and Asifa? We go to Parsba Lois Raper, Gir Posachafe, the Maase. He's the Maasev Lekol HaMachanos. He's the Siyum of the Mills who walks at the end of the Jews in Kamen as we marched in the desert. He's the one bringing us all together. That's Don Maasev Lekol HaMachanos. When Yehuda needs to emerge as a leader, he needs that Koach Api the Shla of the Bechidas Mashiach Ben Yosef of a Koach Avasifa to precede him. And that's why you need someone, you need a Masif Kol HaMachanos. Uh, where do we see Raya's to this? Very Gishmak. And we say every day, thrice daily in our Shmon Esrei, and ask Tzamach Dovid. Remember, this is a bracha highlighting Malchus based Dovid. Illustrating the desire we have to rebuild the Davidic dynasty. And what do we mention? Where did Achik and Ezekiel get that Nusach from? Where did we first encounter the Shuasa Kivino Kalayom? Back in Vayichi, in the brochas that Yaakov bestowed to his children. And in whose brocha? Lachar, it should have been expectedly in the brocha of Yehuda, but it's not. Where is it? And the brocha of Sheva Don, the Shuasa Kivisi Hashem, and the brocha of Sheva Don, Mani and Shemitah Eitzel Sinai. Terence is, Yehuda is going to emerge as Don, writes the Zorah Kodesh. And writes the Alkut Shemoni in Parshas Vayechi. How Gishmak, we all know Mashiach Ben David. His father is a sign of the Davidic dynasty. He comes from Machas based David. That's his father. Did you ever wonder what about his mother? All right, the Zora Kodesh writes the Alkut Shemoni in Parshas Vayechi. Mashiach Ben David's mother comes from none other than Shevet Dod. What's the Havamina that Yaakov thought Shimshon Agibar could be Mashiach? Rashi brings up the Merish in Parshas Vayechi. How could he be Mashiach? Mashiach's from David. If there's no one rightfully emerging from Shevet at Yehuda, then it's going to be someone from Sheva Don. It's not the head of the lion, it's the tail of the lion. Shimshon HaGibor, Gibor, Givura, Ari, Yira, Givura, St. Gamachia 216, Arya, Yira, Givura, Yezgabra, Ka'ari, if it's not Yehuda, then it's Don. HaMashiach's mother comes from Sheva Don. How Gishmak, when we go to the Arizal now, and the Arizal tell us, Chushim, mix around the letters of Chushim and Don, and what do you get? Mashiach. Chushim Osios Mashiach. Chushim had the power of Mashiach already. Because the power of Mashiach is from the joint forces of Yehuda Mitzar Echad and Dom Mitzar Chedi of Midas Arachim and Yehuda Mashem Avaya with Min Hanhogas Adin as alluded to in Don. Chushim Osios Mashiach writes the Arizal Lekutai Taira. How Geshmak Mashiach Yes Shimshon Agibar could be Mashiach. Because that's the union. It's got to be Davka, someone from Sheva Don as well. And where did this all take place? Where was the first union? We go back to the Medrash. It took place when they went down Goshna. They went to Goshen. Goshna is Gematria 358. Gematria Mashiach. Where were the seats planted for Mashiach? Dafka when they went down Goshna. And we encountered the first union of Yehuda and Chushim and Don. Chushim Osios Mashiach. That was Dafka and Goshna. Chushim Osios Mashiach. And not only that, we know the Iker Tafka to Mashiach is to correct Misa. Death forgetfulness, decay, decomposition, dystrophy, everything negative, everything pejorative in this world all emanates from what? From the chet, achilas, etzadas, overall, which was all 
engendered al yedi the nochash hakarmoni. The hainu the ikar tafkin mashiach is we got to get rid of the nochash. We have to tackle the nochash. How gishmak? Who's the arch nemesis of the nochash? We have the nochash who wore kilkot akol into the world, and whose symbol was the nochash? We go to the medrash and the mibaramba and parsha beis and osayin. Every shavit had a color. Every shavit had a symbol. And whose symbol was the nochash? Shavit don zel umazash shalom elchin kolas brak zayin posuk yedalid zel umazash shalokim. You have the nochash hakarmoni. And you have the Nochash, the positive snake of Sheva Don. Their symbol was the snake. How Gishmak. Nochash writes the Nefesh Dovid of Hadovid Tebomi. Alisa writes in Nevis Dovid Parshas Vayishlach, writes in Nevisoska Mamori, Choche Kisle Vitimis and Myra Bays. How very Gishmak. And Nochash is Gamatra 358. Gamatra Yochushim, Gamatra Yamashiach. The power of Mashiach is to be. The Bechinas Zelo Mazasol Kim 358. Nochash Gamatra 358. That's the power of Mashiach to go ahead. Head and get rid of the Nochash Shekhermaini. And now, Mama Shemaka Bapatish. Shavari Geshmak. The Nochash is the one who brought Sheker into the world. Medrash Osios, Rabbi Akiva, Shamas Kivdal, and Amanalaf. What do we know about Sheker? MS has Raglayim, strong base. Two solid feet. It's on solid ground. Mashenkin sheker in Rogaim. Osio sheker shin kufresh. Shin kuf and resh all standing flimsily on one mere leg. Sheker in the Raglaim. Right to Yitzhak Isaac Hover. Very geschmack. Talmud Ramanachem and Mishkla. All right to Yitzhak Isaac Hover and Zor Torah and Rav Ramachem and Rosh Malasatara. Why was that the Mida Kenegamida? Why did he lose his Raglaim, the Nachosh? Because who brought sheker into the world? The Nachosh Kanmaini. The snake brings sheker into the world. Sheker in the Raglaim. That's Omida Kenegamida. What punishment did he get? Abish Church. Took away his raglayim. He had no yadayim, no raglayim. That's why the snake slithers on its belly on the ground. Sheker ain no raglayim. He brought sheker into the world. Ain no raglayim. And in Dere Yom, when Mashiach comes, what do we read? We read that he will be omeid al raglav. He will stand firmly on his raglayim. And who's going to help bring Mashiach? It's got to be what the tail of the lion, but the koch of the raglayim. That was what chushim. Chushim was speed. Gos chish and ofo. Now it's a chushim. Chushim ben don is the one around quickly. Chushim osios Mashiach. Chushim gematri yonach. Don, the symbol of that shaven was the Nochash. Page 309 of the Sefer Machine Chase, the biography of Yaakov Sasportis, who was right there to fight against Shamsay Tzvi, Yamashwa Zichro. You know, Shamsay Tzvi used to sign his name. He used to sign his name on all his correspondence with a little diagram of a snake. Because Shant Tzvi Yamach Shmo wanted to highlight what? He is the Bechinas Mashiach. He's going to be the Koach of the Nochash Letzana Taif to combat the Nochash HaKarmoni Letzana Ra. He signed his name with a snake. That's Sheva Don. That's the union of Yehuda and Don. And Amela, if you want to go ahead and destroy an Esav, Tais is a Gittin and Haman base. It's going to start with Chushim and it's going to finish with Yehuda. If you want to topple Matraim, it's going to be Yehuda joining forces with Chushim and Don. We need someone to represent that Koach HaMasifa, but not Stama Koach HaMasifa. Someone in down like Likewise, with the Koch of the Gevura of the Ari, that Yehuda knows that I need Don to go and be Mashlam, I need the Tziruf of Shemavaya with the Tziruf of the Anhog of Din, and Amela, that's the Mishkan. That's Betzal, and that's Aliyah. What is the Mishkan? The Mishkan, as we know, united all Gans Kaya. So, right to Yaakov Kamenetsky in his first piece of Nemesis, the Yaakov Parshish Bamidbar. He says, We know the Medrash tells us Bamidbar Rabba Parsha Beis and Ozayim. Every Shevet had a color, had a flag, had a symbol. When were they given those? Not right when they left Mitzrayim. And they were only given those after you had the Mishkan. Why? Asked of Yaakov Kamenetsky. Why wasn't that uniqueness, the singular uh, characteristics of every respective tribe, why were those highlights and attributes not attributed or not highlighted earlier? Explains of Yaakov, because then you would go and say, oh, it's called Yochev, Yochev, Koshev, Yochev. First we need a Mishkan, which the Tachlis was to bring everyone together. When everyone encircles and encamps around the Mishkan, Misaviv, the Oren, the centerpiece of which was the Oren HaKodesh, Aluchas, Shev, Luchas, Menachas, Baren, the Torah unites us all when we encamp around the Mishkan, and the Mishkan brings us together only then when you're together as an can you highlight your own uniqueness with your own flag, your own color, your own symbol? Who's going to build a Mishkan which is going to make lions so together? You need the head of the lion, you need the tail of the lion. You need Yehuda, Osio, Shemavaya together with Dud. You need the Koch HaMashiach who comes into the world, Ayadei. Mashiach Ben Yaisi, the Koch HaMasifa. Ayadei Dud, Masif the Kolamachanas. Mashiach's mother comes from Sheva Dud. His father comes from Sheva Yehuda. You need Betzalo, Mitzan Echad from Sheva Yehuda, Lamata Yehuda. And you need Aliyah, Mashiach Ben 
and together you have a Mishkan which brings Klai Yisrael together. Together now you can have a Melech, you can have a Monik that resides over Klai Yisrael. Be'ez HaShem Yisrach Yisrach to Mashiach Ben Yisrach Mashiach Ben David to have Klai Yisrael Ga'echa Ba'aretz Bekar of Mamish and to have Mashiach Tzedkeinu Meheir of Yemena Thank you so much for coming. Have a wonderful day. A great rest of the week ahead. Afrei Lachen Purim Ab Adim Et HaShem Anat Slochen Olan Yonim Yashikayach and a good Tavach Ab Ahead Kol Tzach.